Liman karşıtlığı küresel bir olgu olarak dünyada etkinliğini arttırırken ABD'de 11 Eylül terör saldırıları sonrası hayata geçirilen pek çok politika ve uygulama Müslümanlara yönelik şiddet ve nefret söylemini meşrulaştırıyor. For the first time in our brand new civil rights report, we did see for the first time a decline in the total number of cases, specifically a 23% decline. But while we see that this is encouraging, we need to keep in mind that if we're looking at the data from 1995 to today, it's still three times more than the years following the 9-11 attacks, the number of complaints that we received. Islamophobia and anti-Muslim incidences are still well and alive in America today. Islamophobia is institutionalized, Islamophobia is instrumentalized, and Islamophobia is internalized. Now, some of these examples in which we see Islamophobia being institutionalized are the Patriot Act shortly after 9-11, the CVE program um, by the Obama administration that almost exclusively targeted Muslims through false Islamophobic perceptions, as well as the Muslim ban by the Trump administration right when he took office until it was repealed by the current Biden administration. After 9-11, we do see structural Islamophobia policies, such as TSA watch lists, which targets millions of innocent people on the basis of their religion, religious or ethnic perception. Many of these people who find themselves on this list are innocent. We always find cases of a seven-year-old on the list, for example, because their name is very common Muslim names, such as Muhammad or Ali. Certainly for the longest time, we have seen the American media propagate anti-Muslim rhetoric, and that still stands true to this day. When you have a cable channel like Fox News, one of the most watched channels in the entire country, push these false and distorted Islamophobic narratives on a constant basis, it's hard to argue otherwise about its effectiveness. And such campaigns of dishumanizations often justify dangerous policies and laws, not just against Muslims, but all Americans, quite honestly.